something like a rook as they're with friends to work out exactly where things go wrong and then one might suggest of course that all things start to follow in life because as you know if you've got a close friend or you're in a girl group particularly you know it's the sidings isn't it they take that side you take the other side and then of course it's all this sort of uh, you know texting and all that sort of stuff behind the scenes we saw that over here recently with these spoof wagatha christie thing with two ex wags that were the best of friends oh yes but it appears of course that certain people particularly in the case of Meghan markle are having to face a future without necessarily the strength of character behind her and by that what i mean is she's managed to let go a lot of good friends that could have become very influential particularly in the fashion world and particularly in the world that she wanted to get into but who possibly could be behind it as ever let me explain Hi, good morning. Nice to see you as ever. Nice to have your company. Truly, you know, fashion's a funny thing, isn't it? As you can see, I'm not a fashion icon. I just prefer to be presentable. But whatever you're doing, have you noticed now all the guys have got their hair shaved at the side? Looks a bit like Friar Tuck, doesn't it, in The Adventures of Robin Hood? You kind of think, what? You know, but of course, everybody follows. One person does it, person of influence, and that's the deal. That was, of course, the deal that Meghan Markle was hoping to become an influencer. And she was very keen, as many people realize at that time to land at one of those big deals you know the fashion houses that really is the big thing you know when you think back to the 90s there were all those great supermodels were they not like Naomi Campbell you know uh, who literally wouldn't get out of bed allegedly for less than 10 grand and you kind of think oh Linda Evangelista still a beautiful lady but you know they were of a time and they could sell things this was long before influencing but now of course we've moved on and there are bigger fish in the pan one of those that's doing incredibly well is none other than the former spice girl posh spice aka victoria beckham so much so that while she was mocked and laughed at and you know dismissed at the very start of her fashion career and yes lost a lot of money along the way things are now on track successful fashion shows and mingling with the higher mighty including Anna Wintour no less the head honcho of the influential bible Vogue as I told you it doesn't sell but very influential in the fashion world now according to a very well-placed source this is going to be very very difficult now for Meghan Markle because Anna Wintour as we know a very very big supporter of the British monarchy loved our late and wonderful Queen in fact was having the honor of the Queen sat at one of the fashion shows alongside her and Angela Kelly so you can see how well that connection was now Meghan was hoping to broker some kind of deal or her team were, to try and hook up with Anna perhaps at certain events you know try and ease her into the fashion world to let the brands know that she was available and more importantly good for branding but according to that very well placed source the spat with none other than Posh Spice aka Victoria Beckham has put a seal on that because as you can imagine Anna Victoria and her husband David are very close to the monarchy and quite frankly, whether they thought, Meghan's team, that they could spin her into the deal like Dior, Cartier or anything else, well, sadly, that's really on ice. And what we can't really tell, of course, is through the eyes of Anna Wintour. She doesn't like you to look into her eyes, hence the reason she's always wearing dark glasses. But nonetheless, problematic now for Meghan. And more importantly, very problematic for Meghan's new team. How on earth? that they managed to persuade the doyen of the fashion world, the people like Anna Wintour and many others, that Meghan is definitely a goer for the fashion world and indeed branding. Difficult times as ever ahead for the ex-royals. Developing, I'll keep you posted. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.